Hello, all of you dang gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Timberborn. Part 12 in this fun Beaver series. I love this game. I absolutely adore it. So I want you to look closely at your screen. Yep, that close. That'll work. Uh, and, and tell me if you see anything of note. Anything that, that just stands out. I'll give you a second here to uh, to look at it all. Yeah, you're right. We have a lot more scrap than we had last time. Uh, that's because we're now mining from or collecting the scrap from way over there. Yeah, good, good point. Anything else? You see anything else? Yeah, yeah. Our reservoir here, bigger, much bigger. In fact, doubled in size, if not a little bit over double. Um, wait, what's that? There's no beavers working. You're, you're absolutely right. There are no beavers working and a zero hour workday, which means 135 adult beavers are sitting around on their butts every day, uh, which is awesome because that is that was my goal for this series. We were going to explore some districts, but I, I honestly don't see the need to, to mess around with districts since I, you can just kind of manage it. As long as, you know, if I were to go way back here, maybe, um, but uh, we don't need it. So what we're going to do today is finally introduce cattail crackers to the beaver's diet. We've had storage over here for it forever uh, and just never, ever, ever got around to making it a thing. So I want to do that back here, uh, kind of in this corner. So we're going to just jump right into getting some platforms built. And then I want to come that way. Like so. Cool. And then I want to kind of just eyeball where everything else will need to be. So is this really eight here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, cool. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This would be my eighth one. And we'll do that a couple more times. And that just tells me where the grid would be if we were following the grid on all of this. And honestly, I may like blast this hill right here and then put some stairs here. Just again for connectivity. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Uh, we will lose a, a few potatoes, but I'm okay with losing a few potatoes. What I'll do is just clear them for planting so that they don't get replanted once they're harvested. And then we will work our way up right here. And then once those are cleared out, uh, we'll figure out a way to get up there. That's pretty dang tall. We may have to come up here to do it. I would flatten all of this, and I may in time, but you can see we'd have to rebuild that, and we'd have to replant all the potatoes. For now, I'm just going to run paths all through here and to there. Um, I could get a path in here, but then I don't really have anywhere for it to properly connect um, just because of where I put this path. It's just kind of in the way, but this will be okay because... And at least we have some connectivity to here. Cool. So we now need a couple of aquatic farmhouses. And we're going to put those right there, front and center. But they're going to need to be able to get down to the ground. Because that is where the cattails grow. It's in the water here. So we'll put those there. And then we will grab aquatic farmhouses. And yeah, we can fill that area just fine. And then I want these to be worked by the bots. You know, we don't want anybody else working here. So boom, so cattails, awesome. And then we'll go ahead and get those set to be planted. And then let's just double check. We can reach all the way back to there. I doubt we'll need that many, to be honest. But I'm gonna go ahead and plant them back to there anyway. And I'm gonna leave room here for the grid should we desire to go back here with anything i don't think we're going to but just in case so then come back up here they can get all the way over to there so right 
there. And that should be sufficient. I mean, it's not quite as big of an area as we have. Well, it's probably about as big of an area as we have for our spider dock. So, Cattail Crackers requires a couple things to happen. Uh, one of which is we need um, a flour mill. And I'm just trying to see, where do we want to bring power? Uh, either from here or over here and up. I think here is going to be our easiest solution. Yeah, that's going to be our easiest solution. I think I'm going to get... What do we do over here? We did three. Yeah, let's do three just to make sure that we're not falling behind at any point. So that means I need one of these here to drop power, and then I need uh, two, and then, come on, two, and then we'll put the third one just back there. So these will be for our grist mills. They're going to go in here, here, and here, and we're going to tell them to make cattail flour. Beautiful. Uh, and then we need to connect that power in as well. So we'll run that right there, and then we will run this this way. This is going to be a weird connection. It goes up and then down and all over the place. So then here we need to go up and up, and here we need to go up. This one needs to be there, so then we'll need a high power shaft going that way, and then two over here. Lovely. And we'll make that connection divided. Oh, I see why it said that's not connected. That's a T intersection. I was not planning ahead. I probably should have brought it off of here then. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll replace that uh, once everything gets built. It's not a huge deal. Uh, what is a huge deal is I'm not remembering past mistakes there. There we go. I uh, will do a quad there. That'll be fine. And then I'll just run all those straight down. Now we need a place to store our cattail wheat, uh, which this is kind of a, a weird spot back here. I would really like to get the big warehouse. So let's do that and then let's do another one like here this is going to be where the cattails themselves go and we'll just do a big old warehouse and this is going to be where the wheat goes so that will be cattail roots this will be cattail flour once I find it, there it is. Cool, awesome. Let's do three bakeries. I think that's gonna be a little bit overkill, but I'm okay with that. Uh, so uh, the bakeries are three by two buildings. So we'll do one there, one there, and one right there. That way they're getting their flour, just right there. And then throw in some bakeries right here. And then set the recipe to that cattail crackers on all of these. And I realized I did not. So let's set this to bots. We want all this to be bots. And we have 14 of them not doing anything. So we may as well get them working. So cool. That will all be bots. 100%. And yeah, cool. They're out here working on it now. So did I not, did I not connect that? No, it is, this is for some reason they built that one first. Oh, because I brought, I built it over in a line this way. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, that's, that's the one downside here is they do have to, you know, they can only work on a little bit of this at a time just because, we'll speed up time, uh, just because of uh, the fact that if, if they can't reach what I've told them to build, they've got to build the thing before it first. But with 16 of these dudes, Chilling out here, this should go fairly quickly. Um, uh, another thing I did, uh, I think I did this in between videos, is I flattened all of this out. Right here, there was a bit of a bigger hill right here. This gives us a little bit more room. Uh, the reason being is I wanna make sure that we have room for some of the things we're gonna be doing, uh, like the carousels and the mud baths. With all the beavers having all day to lounge, they do tend to get 
through all the different recreational items. And you can see they've already all read a book, which is why we've got a bunch of books in there. And then for even like the, the dance hall, the majority of them are getting there in a day. So I don't know that we're gonna need too many duplicates, but what I do wanna check, now they're even getting all of these, cool. So that's gonna be the other thing that we do today. We're gonna get some monuments built and we're gonna get our fun in and probably get into the high 50s, if not up to 60 on our well-being. Uh, it's gonna go really, really, really fast. But first we need to get this new, uh, or this final thing of cattail crackers up and running. So let's watch this get built. And that's everything built, which went super quick, but I'm noticing that didn't employ bots for some reason. I could have swore I clicked on bots on all of these, did I not? I, I'm pretty sure I, I told them that these are bot jobs, but it put beavers there, because I was watching them like, why is somebody working there? I was kind of suspecting that it put beavers there. So now, boom, bots are working and all those. So the last thing we have to do in order to make this, you know, actually function is to come down here and delete that. And that's going to temporarily sever the power uh, out well, to everything in this direction. But it has its own power source. So we're going to have two separate power grids briefly. So if we... Where, where, where? that if we go into this menu and come over here to power um, once well if I were to yeah there it is you can see it's actually there's three now um, we've got some things kind of isolated on their own uh, that we just built because that's off on one shoot that's not connected to anything uh, we have some things here that are just producing power and not doing anything else and everything else is still on the same grid so but they'll build that super quick. There's just four logs. I wonder if they can uh, pick that up. I don't know. We'll leave it there. If they can pick it up, they will. And as soon as that gets built, we will have power going out to over here. They should, yep, they are busy planting and should have no trouble reaching everything that I've asked them to plant. So the, the last thing I want to do we have punch cards and fuel right here, but I'd like to have some just a little bit closer. Uh, just, just to be safe. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna do that. We're gonna put the catalyst there. We're gonna put fuel there. And we're gonna put punch cards right here. Um, so we will have one medium tank. Can't really tell which way. There we go. I can see there right now. And that one there. And oh, not the big one. There we go. So cool. This will be for our punch cards, and we want to obtain those from others. This will be for our biofuel, and we want to set that to obtain. And this will be for our catalyst, and we want to set that to obtain. That way, they'll just go get it from another storage, and things will be good to go. So it'll take a while. The, the cattails take a few days to grow, and you cannot use beehives. Beehives only work uh, on ground crops as far as I know I, you know I've never tried to put them in the water but I tend to think if I did it would probably say flooded building I mean we could we could test it I suppose um, but I don't really I don't see the need we'll just we'll just leave it so I'm kind of wishing now that I had these connections through here because I mean look we've got that right there so I am going to get those trees knocked out for at least that one more connection back there 
I, I really wish I had this back here, but oh well. Need to be okay. I could do it. Like, I could just run the, some stairs up and then they can just walk that way. I don't know. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I do know, though, that this is getting used a lot. A whole lot. So cool, that gets that done. Now I, I, I do want to blast this out of here, but man, that's, that's quite the climb there. Um, so we can do that, but that doesn't really help me. So what I need to do is, okay, I don't know what I just selected. Uh, what I need to do is get rid of these stairs that I just built and put a temporary platform on top of it. We're gonna lose access to that. That's gonna immediately say unconnected building, and it does. But then we want to go up that way, and then I wanna take this what down three, yeah, all the way down. Yeah, so we'll get some triple dynamites. Put those there, they'll get that done super quick. That won't take hardly any time at all. Yeah, this has gone super fast. It's like two minutes, literally. Like, not even an exaggeration. So then we just want to blast these remaining bits down, which they can already get up there, but we're gonna get rid of this stuff as well. Because we don't need it. So we can put this path back, make that contemplation spot happy, and then run path this way, run the path that way, and then right now we're dead ending, but that's okay. Um, and since we're now gonna have that as a connection, I wanna, I, know I wanna come on through. Cause you can see it's bright yellow and we like bright yellow. So we could even go here, get rid of those trees. Oh my gosh, they turn around for one second and they've done what you've asked them to do. They're quick, what can I say? So then we can Pop that out of there, and then run the stairs there, run the stairs there. And now again, they just have more than one way to get around. So let's move this over. So we will do that and then clear that and make a new one there. There we go. And then we will plant just a few more potatoes. We don't need them, but I mean, let's we'll just put some here, right? There. Actually, this should be trees. Yeah, that should be trees. I've changed my mind. Don't don't plant those. Don't plant those. These are oak trees. You just think they're potatoes. <laughs> yeah, let's do, let's do trees there. Uh, let's do trees in all this section. They're like, well, okay. Well, I guess we'll plant trees then. Uh, so then I can't do anything until they've actually dug that up. So I gotta wait, there we go, cool, done. And there should be somewhere a forester that can do that, awesome. So now we just have to wait. While we're waiting, we have these dudes that are, are finished. So we are gonna empty our storages here. Just get rid of that. And we're going to decommission those. Hopefully they will pick that up eventually. And for now, I'm probably just going to leave most of this stuff out here. Though we do have room for the planks. I could demolish all this. And they should be able to pick it up. So I'm going to start with that. Because there's stairs over here. So yeah, they, they should at least be able to pick up the planks. I don't know about the scrap or the, the logs. But they can at least get the planks back into storage. Awesome. That means we're gonna need to get over to here as well pretty soon because they are running out that way. But I don't know they, that we're gonna, this may be the finale for the series. Depends on how much I get done today. So next thing next, I know it doesn't make much sense the way I said it, but go with it. I want to add in some, some good leisure stuff here. And to do that, I almost, if I blast this out and water comes through, it would flood if I blast back there. I mean, we've got this here to kind of hold it back. 
because we got that one tile back. I was thinking about blasting this to here, but then I would lose that. So yeah, we're not gonna be able to do it that way, but what I can do is most likely something else. So I wanna get a few of our hot tubs in here. We've got power right here, so it just kinda makes sense to go here. So we're gonna do that, and these have to be on the ground? No. So I can then um, put in a couple of these, and then we're gonna put another one here. And I'm building them down like this, because you see where the entrance is? It's actually, needs a, it would need stairs otherwise. So this is just allowing me to kind of get around that. So we're gonna do like that, like that, and like that. And then, you know what? We haven't done much in the way of decoration, so we are going to decorate. We're going to give them a beaver statue. I'm going to give them another one of these poles. And you know what? We don't have a scarecrow anywhere. Let's let's put a scarecrow over here. There we go. Scarecrow. And then a lantern. Um, I don't know, but let's give them some shrubs, too. Because that'll look nice. Um... That doesn't do anything for this score, so one more of those. Sure, one more of those. There we go. Cool. Uh, and then those will be able to get power super easy, just right here. All I have to do is turn the corner, but I'm going to put a T-junction there, just to be safe. And right there. And it doesn't matter. They'll be able to get to that to either side. So this requires a constant flow of dirt. That is why I never decommissioned this. Uh, you can see it's now actually working again because it requires dirt not only well it used to require dirt to construct it but it does require a supply of dirt to operate and it requires power so once it has all of that that will be up and running i, I kind of wish i could get another one in right here i guess i could um i could probably get two more in here if i do something like this um just trying to see the best way to do it here because I want to make sure that because these only see like I think eight yeah since they only see eight I want to make sure that the beavers are able to to get in here and, and use these um so I'd rather have too many than not enough they do they do take power but we can deal with power we if we've learned anything it's it, it's how to have enough power so then we'll go this way and then we will bring that here, question mark. It almost just go right here and they could run up and around or we could bring it over this way. I like this one better and then bring that there and then put that right there. And then they get in that way and then we can, we don't need that, cool. So that'll give us five of those. So let's get this built out and powered and filled up and all that good stuff. It's all built, but for some reason, they're not putting dirt in this one or that one. <laughs> they will eventually. Um, so cool. Wow, we have a lot of bots. Okay, that's kind of what I was thinking was going to happen is that we we're going to wind up with a lot of bots. So what I'm going to do is pause production on one of them for now and see if we keep getting just way too many bots or if it kind of just keeps up. I'd, I'd rather it just kind of keep up. I'd like to have maybe 10 bots extra just so that when we have some, oh, there we go, 40. So that when we have some that run out of uh, steam, they're good to go. So almost everybody's been to a mud bath already. Some people are now seeing a scarecrow, the beaver statue, which I think we've had before, but all these little things help. Next, next, so time down. We are going to change up some crops, man, I have the hiccups. We're gonna get rid of these blueberries. And we're gonna prioritize that. Just to speed things back up. Basically, I wanna clear these carrots, but I wanna make sure we're not removing too much food. And they don't eat blueberries anyway. They just stay there. The only thing they're getting used for is antidote, which we've only ever had one beaver need, so it's fine. Do 
is absolutely fine. So cool. That gets that cleared out. So we can put that in. And then we can have them plant carrots there. And then clear these carrots and demolish this. But that's not all we're going to do here, friends. We're going to do something kind of cool. We're going to delete that path to there and we're going to bring in just single dynamite like that and let them get this all cleared out and get that dynamite in there and we'll get this blasted and we'll fill this area as well with dynamite and i think one will be deep enough should be there we go cool so now we just got to get all this dynamite placed down which we have plenty it's just gonna be a matter of them running back and forth to over there to get it so it won't take too terribly long they've already got the the carrots in so those carrots will start growing so we actually gained a few carrots and we don't need the berries so we're fine and the dynamite's done i just yeah okay nobody's running across there this dude oh we do have beavers running through there but we're just gonna have to risk it hey we didn't blow anybody up good uh, so now we need to just replace this with some platforms. Run that across there. And then it is going to be monument time. And why do we need water? Because one of the wa monuments requires water. But we're going to start with just our, our nice whoops, farmer monument. We're going to do one on each corner just because they don't reach. Like You can see the area of effect. We, I essentially want to get as many houses included in this area of effect as possible. So that should get all the houses. Then we also want this one. And if we go kind of like here on this one, this should get all these houses. Yep, that takes care of that. Which means the cool thing is for the rest of this up here, we can do some more well-being in the form of decoration. We can put in some roofs. Um, I was kind of hoping this would fit nicely, but it doesn't. So instead we'll do like these. And these don't really work that well, so we'll do these. Look at that, one monument done and they're already really happy. I think I want these facing this way. Yeah, that's just gonna keep happening. Get used to that sound. Uh, that's gonna be very frequent. Uh, do we have cattail crackers yet? Not yet. So we'll do just a bunch of roof sections on here. <laughs> It's going to be non-stop, I assure you. And then we'll do like some here, wherever there's just some little spaces, we'll bring in roofs. Oh, there's one back there. So we can put one there. And then like down here, we can have some. We're just going to look for anything we can cover in a roof, uh, which is going to be a lot, honestly. So we've got a lot of these uh storage these medium storage that they can just reach the top of so yeah i told you we're just gonna keep hearing that noise those monuments are epic in their impact on beaver happiness they're not really getting me to beavers out that way but we're, we're gonna do it anyway. oh hey they built that anyway cool uh there's one i'm just looking for all of them that i can Fine. There's probably a bunch over here. Yeah, there are a bunch over here. I don't know if they're going to be able to reach all this, but we'll see what happens. You can, on the flat part of this roof that I'm using right now, build on top of it. Um, there in the middle. But you have to be able to reach up to it, or the beavers have to be able to reach up to it. So I'm not going to make it a huge priority. And that should be all of them. Yes? No? I mean, a beaver's never going to come out here, but we're going to do it anyway. Look at how quick they are in building. Like, they're already done with those roofs. They've already done all of those. Oh, we have a drought. Cool. Um, I mean, not cool, but you know what I mean. Uh, and so I think I've got... Oh, there's one. These roofs do help with well-being because they give them a good decoration score. So, yeah, I think I've got them all cool. And then the final bit... I do want to come in here. We're up to 50. We started to remember at 37, and now we're up to 50. Look, look at what that does. That's eight points right there. 
Uh, everybody's happy there with the mud baths. So that's 11. Uh, people are seeing roofs, so they're happy about that. Not seeing scarecrows, but you know we can put some more scarecrows in. Sure, let's let's throw let's throw some more scarecrows in. We'll throw one in like right there, and we'll give them another one here, and we'll put one there. <laughs> Just random scarecrows. Why the heck not? There we go. Random scarecrows. Now for the big one, and this thing was like twelve thousand science. Uh, and then you can see it requires 800 resources in total. Planks, treated planks, and metal beams. And I want this to face like this way. And look at that massive, massive area of effect. Uh, it even reaches all the way over to some of those hot tubs that we just built. But it definitely covers every single house. Downside, they can't currently get down there to it. But what we're gonna do is put in some stairs like that and then I'm also and you may think this is weird but stay with me here we're gonna make this like a little park so we're gonna come in with our decorations and we're gonna put beaver statues and then we're going to do some lights like here 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 and there. And then I guess we'll just do hedges. I mean, we don't get any well beam though for, for hedges or for fence. I could do a fence, but while that would look better, I don't get the buff for it. So I'm gonna do these instead. And then once they've built all of this, uh, they'll be able to, I'll be able to take these stairs out and then they'll be able to uh, replace that with the platform and we can put one more hedge there and it's going to be good. So yeah, this thing right here is going to get us into the high 50s once it's done because it just has a massive effect on the world. And look at that, just putting in a few scarecrows brought it up a lot. But that fountain of joy is going to be absolutely huge oh and we have cattail crackers being produced look at that that's already at 1.4 that might hit three but it's probably gonna stay to two um so yeah very happy beavers so let's get this built now As this nears completion, I'm going to slow things down. First of all, because I noticed that I missed the shrub. But I also wanted to kind of see it pop into existence, and I I want to see how quick. Because the beavers are moving about. They're milling about this area, so they'll eventually, they'll instantly get. There we go. Boom. And this is good. Oh, wow. We already are at 60. I didn't think we'd hit 60 without building everything. <laughs> Oh my, oh, I'm excited about that. I wonder how high we can get this now. I'm really curious. So we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna place a platform there and drop a shrub on there. And then while they're working on that, we're gonna come back here. Remember I said I this was all for a reason uh, other than just irrigation? Well, we are to that reason today. Uh, we are going to do couple runs of four on these just in a couple different areas and then we'll see where else we can get some eventually but for now I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get one here but just to be safe I'll go there and then let's get another one right there and come into well-being and go to the Lido Lido I'm not really sure how to say that I think those are gonna be in the water I think if not, we'll rebuild them. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's gonna work though. And so that gives us what, six of these? Seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Cool. So that's gonna take just a moment to build. And then the last thing for well being is going to be the carousel, which holds 12 visitors. So we'll probably build two of them. Uh, just so we get the max out of it. I want to kind of check my power situation. Ouch. Uh, but the batteries are fine, so I'm not I'm not going to really worry about it. Uh, 
carousels. So let's get that planned out, even though they're still working on our little park over there. Uh, is it necessary to surround that monument with all that stuff that I put around it? No. I just think it looks nice. I, I think it kind of makes it feel like it's actually a park, even though this game doesn't have parks. It just looks nice. You've got the fountain. You've got the water there kind of hidden behind all this stuff that is powering it. Um, and you just have statues and lights and plants. And I think it is very nice. And also, can we just admire the animation of the bees? It's just mm, so good. Yeah, they'll get all that built. Then they'll build the Lidos, Lidos, however you say it. And then I want to see... I always forget the footprint of these carousels. Okay. And they also require ladders. I'd like to try to get... I'm not going to be able to get both of them in this area, I don't think. Yeah, they're going to be conflicting with one another. But I could run another one back here. Is there another place? I could go just right here some platforms I mean we might chop off some heads but you know it'd be alright don't grow back <laughs> uh oh yeah I forgot to leave space for the stairs uh the drought has ended so get rid of that and then bump it back one like that so now I know where the power needs to go and it can only go because this are angled it can only go in right there so that is where we will make our power connection. We'll put stairs right there. And I could have built it the same way that I built the uh, hot tubs by having it like down below by one, but eh, we'll be fine. Uh, so cool, I'd like to get another one here, but I don't know that I'm gonna be able to because when I was looking at it here, see it's happy there, but not there. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get another one right here. It's going to... But if, maybe if it's up on platforms. Let's try it. You know what? I'm, I'm willing to experiment here. Yeah, no. Not going not gonna to have it. And then I, I wouldn't have a way for them to get in. Or... Yeah, I will. I'll totally have a way for them to be able to get in. All right, so let's put this here. Get rid of these that are around it. And then we need to do a couple of things here. One, oh, no, this isn't going to work, so I'm going to get the power over there. Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Okay, so if we do power like this, little convoluted, but might just work. No, that's not going to work. Um, all right, plan the next is to bring the power on this side. So I'm, I'm trying to find a place to bring stairs in here and have a platform that comes up to like right here. And we can do that here. We, we can do it. We can make this work. So we're going to do stairs, path, and then a double tall one there. Run that path that way. And then we'll connect our power back here. Yeah, this will be fine. So we just need to put this here, have that pop up, and then run platforms right like that. And then we'll just do a T for now. Oh, that was pointing in the right direction. And cool. And that will get us the final two things that we can have that impacts well-being. Everybody seen the Scarecrow? Everybody seen the Scarecrow? Yeah. So this will be our best chance at getting this up to 62. So we have our Lidos. And, and I want to get the whole thing to 62. This is an average because you saw that a lot of them were at 61 already. Like a lot of them. But it kind of averages it out. Um, so see, we got like somebody that was a 59, though they're gone now. So they must have gone next to something that made them happy. Um, Honestly, I don't see why that is an averaging 61. That's a lot of 61s to me. Uh, a whole lot of 61s. Oh, the, we got we got a beaver child that's 57 because whatever. Children. Unhappy children. 
Okay, these aren't in the water. Okay, all right. I thought that might be a problem. All right, we have two of them built, so they're going to start impacting happiness. We're currently at a 63. Can we get... Oh, yes, we can, to 64. <laughs> I was just about to say, can we get to 64? Uh, yep. Which means we've got some beavers probably running around at like a 65, 66. I clicked the wrong button. What do we have here? 65, 65. So 65 might be the cap, which I think we're going to get the whole district there. I don't see anything beyond 65. Yeah, nothing beyond 65. So 65 is the absolute max. And as soon as everybody gets through this to swim, we're going to be there. We're absolutely going to be there. So let's let's uh, just wait for that to happen because it's going to be glorious. So interestingly enough, we are not at 65, despite the fact that when we go through here, uh, who, who is holding us back from being 65? I thought it was just an average. Like these are all 65, every one of them. So the district should be at 65. But it's not. I wonder if it's bugged. Oh, here we go. We've got a couple 64s. Why are... Oh, I didn't want to name, rename you. Why are you at 64? Wait it. Why are you at 64? A bee sting. Okay. I wonder if we temporarily got rid of the bees. That's like our only dude that's at a 64. We got like one beaver. Yashi, what are you doing to me, man? Oh, we had another one drop to 64 temporarily. Yeah, I don't really see why that should be happening. I mean, everything else looks like, well, there's a 64, what well, was temporarily, but it's right back to 65. Huh. I don't know why we're not at, okay, that's just getting distracting. I, I don't know why we're not there, but let's take a look and admire what we've done. I love the little carousels. They just get up there and ride around, and it's so cute. And then they, you know, once they're once they've gone around a couple times, and they filled up the uh, the carousel fun. They hop off and they go do something else. Where is he gonna go now? Is he gonna go for a swim? Is he gonna go to the mud bath? Is he gonna go read a book? Or is he gonna merge through the world? I don't know. I am kind of curious where he's gonna go. Well, he's gonna go chill out at the uh the old rooftop terrace get himself a drink the sun is belly yeah very cool oh that's a different beaver now did your name change oh it is a different one now so yeah i think the only reason that we're not at 65 is the that that they're not receiving that bonus at some of their recreational spots this one covers that, it covers that, but it does not reach back to any of these. I don't really have space to build another one back here, I don't think, question mark. Oh, I could actually. I could throw another one of these back here, despite its massive, massive resource cost. Almost worth it, though, isn't it? Nah, we're not going to do it. We'll be happy with 64. And and just we'll, we'll know that that we have the majority of beavers sitting pretty at, at 65. I'm good with that. I hope you're good with that. And I hope you have enjoyed this 12 week long series. We'll probably be back with some more Timberborn. Uh, by the time this goes live, the update five should be live on the main branch of the of the early access. I know it's I'm playing on experimental. The game is still in early access, but it should be on the main branch for early access uh, by the time this video goes live. And maybe we'll have some stuff from update six on experimental. Who knows? But I think next time around we'll play Iron Teeth. I, I may do just a short series of something else before we pick back up on Timberboard, but I truly do hope as sunsets you've enjoyed this. And until next time, I'm Brandon reminding you, 
to stay vainglorious. glorious.